All right, this is a pin oak that is eight inch caliper. It's 25 foot tall, and it's gonna have a 12 foot spread on it at the base, at the bottom branching. And we have one, two, three, four, about four of those. All right, now for a little comparison, this is a five inch caliper red maple uh, that's right at 20 foot tall. And you can see the spread of it is in the, in the density of it is a good bit less. But that's a five inch caliper tree at 20 foot it's height. It's a red maple. This time it's a seven inch caliper and it's measuring 23 foot tall. It's only three foot taller, but it is three times as wide. Try to back up if I can get you. Okay, here's a row of elm, and I don't know the exact variety, I have to look it up, but they are to the tip. I don't have the stick on them, but they are 30 foot to the tip. Uh, and they would still have a seven to eight, possibly a nine inch caliper on, a, on some of them. But I have five of those available. This is an oak, we believe it to be a red oak, uh, that's probably 16 feet wide at the, at the uh, bottom branching. And it is 25 foot to the tip. And that's gonna be probably an eight inch eight to nine inch caliper tree. This is a straight sweet gum that measures uh, 23 foot to the tip. Have about eight of those. Okay, this is a pin oak and it's measuring 30 foot to the tip, or stick only goes to 25, and it's at least five foot above that. Get a shot on out here for you between some other trees. But that's a pin oak. This is a maple tree, I believe it's a red maple, and it's measuring 23 foot to the tip. This is a London plane tree and it measures to the very tip is 25 feet. 